flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and I thought I'd do something for the first time today and I'd bring you guys along. This is just gonna be a short video. I'm gonna head into the garden and I'm going to harvest scarlet runner beans for the very first time. This is a trellis that I started new this year inside of my birdie beds, one side to the other and I planted several things down here. The most prolific thing, oh, here's another cucamelon. I harvested just now about a quart of cucamelons and they're so, oh my gosh. They're just never ending. Anyway, when I was out here harvesting the cucamelon, I noticed that there were a lot of scarlet runner beans that were ready to be collected. Oh yeah, I, they're, they're definitely ready. Now I've never done this before, but you can tell when a bean is ready to be collected when the pod is dried out. You can hear the rattle and it's no longer sticky on the outside of the pod, just like these ones. I'm gonna go ahead and open them up. I'm very excited because these beans are gorgeous. Here's the quart of cucumbelons I just harvested. I'm gonna set them down. I'm gonna bring that to my in-laws, um, but I did bring a plate out here to collect the beans. It's cracking right open. I squeeze it just a little bit and it gives a nice crack. Okay, I'm gonna try to get two angles here. Okay, so here are the pods. Oh, wow. There's camera number one. I have camera number two in my hand. Let's open this up together. Ready? Oh, that's not even real. Wow. Let's take a couple of these down and we'll open it up. Oh yeah, that's dry. There's a lot. Guys, let's do a giveaway. I'll give away some of my Scarlet Runner seeds. That's fun. Okay, so I'll choose somebody from the comments. And guys, there have been a lot of scams and giveaways lately, especially on YouTube. I am never gonna ask you for your credit card information, your social security number, anything like that. <laughs> I just need your shipping address to send you the seeds. This is awesome. Maybe I'll give away two, depending on the harvest. <laughs> I dropped <laughs> this plate on the ground when my camera started to fall and this the pod started to pop open this one just exploded so i'm going to bring these inside and let's go ahead and open them up together wow these are so gorgeous oh my goodness i dropped the plate made a mess all right so let's collect oh just popping them open oh my gosh i think i need to get a white plate just to show you guys how gorgeous they are Wow. Oh, this one. Look. Put on a happy face. Wow. Oh, wow. These ones are huge. And I'm going to give some away. Guys, I'm going to send somebody a packet. So make sure you. Post a comment and remember, no scammers on my page, please. Oh, my dogs are barking. You hear that? It's like the best sound of the world. Oh, that was way too close. Oh, okay, I'm gonna continue to shuck these beans. Uh, what's going on? So today I started to clean out the gardens. I harvested even more peppers, butternut squash, acorn squash. I can show you guys some of that. Um, right, it's actually right here. Here are two of my butternut squash. I ended up with a total of 14 butternut squash. I think I only had two plants. I don't know how I got 14 out of two plants, but those plants went wild. I found them four rows away. So they were definitely climbing all over the place out there. But that's very exciting. I'm looking at my acorn squash right now. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 acorn squash, and I gave three to my in-laws. So I had 13 acorn squash, which was great. And I still have some pumpkins out there. So it was really a good harvest. I'm trying to clean everything up. I still have a lot of kale out in the garden, and I also have a ton of sage. I mean, bucket like five gallon buckets worth like three of them i don't know what to do with it what should i do with the sage i was thinking about maybe making those sage bundles and maybe selling some of those i know those can be popular i'm going to continue to shell these beans 
Uh, let's see, I was at the nursery today, I was watering the mums and I was doing some cleaning up, washing some pots and stuff. And I also recorded a little bit more of a nursery update. So that video will be coming to you guys probably tomorrow or Friday. And guys, my calendar is still for sale if you guys are interested in getting my wall calendar. Oop, okay, so this has got to be careful of this. This bean right here has mold on it. I will not be keeping that pot. I'm tossing it right out. Uh, you gotta make sure you're careful of that. So my calendar is still for sale and today, the 5th, if you're watching on the day that I post this video, today is the final day to sign up for Lisa Mason Ziegler's flower farming course. The course itself starts November 1st. It's a six week video heavy course and um, that is the final day is today to sign up for the course. <laughs> Uh, there's a link in the description of this video to both the calendar, Lisa's course, and a lot of people have been asking me about my sweatshirts. Um, so here's the story on that, and I'm just going to be completely honest because that's how I am. I was working with a company and I was not happy with the quality of the shirts. So I ended up removing the merchandise from my website because a lot of the things that I purchased personally from this same site with my logo the logo had faded um, and parts of it were coming off and I thought to myself, well, this is kind of not good. If six months after I purchased something, it's fading off and I didn't want to have that happen to you guys, to the customers, to the viewers. So I decided to find a different company to make my merchandise. And honestly, this sweatshirt, is a company or is a sweatshirt that I've had for years now and the logo is as good as the day that I bought it and this is a local company we had these made locally for my town so I reached out to the company that made this sweatshirt a local company and they're gonna be able to make some new merchandise for me and they'll be able to drop ship so you guys can order right on my website and they'll be able to mail it to you so look out for that coming it'll probably be opening up probably early mid-november hoping to do that so i know a lot of you guys have been asking for um you know christmas gifts and stuff like that to people who you know watch this channel um and a lot of people just like to buy and, and wear the sweatshirts on their own but anyway i wanted to fill you guys in on all that stuff that was happening and show you these gorgeous scarlet runner beans um i have been taking it easy thank you to all of you who commented on the last video that, that i mentioned that i wasn't feeling well lately um, it's not COVID, took a COVID test, but um, I have been taking it easy. I've been trying to get as much rest as possible, but sometimes it's really hard to do. But I have been, I have been taking it easy. It's kind of been nice since the frost. I haven't been able, I haven't had to be in five places at once. So that's been nice. And I'm starting to make major plans for next year when it comes to help, because I'm going to need help between the nursery and the farm. And I mean, honestly, YouTube itself is a full-time job. So I'm gonna need some help. All right, one more pod. The final bean pod. These are amazing. Okay, let's get a close up. I'm gonna get a close up of the beans. Thanks guys for sticking around. We'll see you soon, good luck. Yeah, I'm gonna give these away guys, not all of them. Check them out. The most beautiful bean in the world. Well, just broke my camera off. 